first, I want to focus on this is Martin Luther King Day, um, January uh, 2015. I want to focus on um doctor that was at uh, the hospital, uh, okay, Cliff, oh, okay, I'm going to have to do this over. I'm having a bad, bad time other than being older and all that's happening to me. He was at uh, Parkland when John Kennedy was taken in when he was shot in Dallas, and he was an intern, Victor Gonzalez. Now, I want to fast forward to Huntsville, Alabama at Redstone Arsenal Army Hospital, and this man had a small book published, and he gave me a copy later on when, if you call it meeting him, uh, the uh, Army Brats was the name of it. He paid to have it published uh, out of uh, Springfield, Missouri, a publishing company. So uh, later in Atlanta, Georgia, he moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and it happened to be ahead of me. Uh, it's like foot tracks were laid down. He was at Lenox Square Twin, I believe they were called Twin Towers. I'm not sure. They were side by side, and I think that's what they were called. He's on the 16th floor, if I remember. Uh, my husband took me there. And then later I found out my husband, John Shoulders, was CIA. So uh, I want to tell about the book. I'm not sure how I'll get this on this video. All I can do is try. I wrote a medical malpractice book called MD, A License to Kill in 76 to 80, April Fool's Day, 80, when I had antifreeze put in me and should have died. And you talk about a living hell, that's one of them. Um, but this was done, things like this, similar all through, throughout my life. And it's a good thing I didn't know about being kidnapped from Buckingham Palace and being Victoria II, heir to the British Crown, and my father's Edward VIII, who never married Wallace Simpson. whole thing was a lie and a takedown. My father was married to Georgia O'Keeffe's sister, Claudia Ruth O'Keeffe's my mom. Uh, this was the double that married Wallace Simpson, and my uncle George helped with all this, the Jews, the New World Order, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers. Roosevelt appointed Joe Kennedy ambassador to England, and he helped in my kidnapping. And Jeff Kay and his older brother flew in there. I was kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, and to a pigsty. And this picture no way represents it. Uh, this is me. That's the woman that killed her twins, Lina Dempsey. This is me, and I just got these photos recently. Someone sent them. And, uh, let me see, there was something. Oh, the birth certificate. I'm not going to show. This was Carl, the twin. And both twins were dead. They gave me the name of Peggy. State of Alabama actually just marked through uh, the birth dates because uh, there's a whole <laughs> I mean, all of it's been so out there, nobody's going to do anything about it. Touch it, uh, State Center, Sparkman, uh, all of them that's in uh, now, Sessions, all of them know about it, plus who doesn't. Um, but anyway, she was never prosecuted. I was for killing the twins. In fact, they took me there, and I grew up having to use that name. I didn't know about my kidnapping and who I am. And there's nine nine years still put on my father's takedown and my birth, by the way, when they kidnapped me. So I wanted to go back to Gonzales. Um, I was writing about Victor Gonzales and uh, uh, medical malpractice in their license to kill. I was writing about mind control. I didn't uh, really know that much about mind control. I know, know hypnosis and what... A psychiatrist, the length that a psychiatrist can have over a patient, in some cases that patient's really a prisoner, a guinea pig is exactly it. So anyway, I was trying to write about it, and there had been a, a gag order or seal placed on a suit that was so ridiculous in 70, I guess early 76 against Gonzalez. He was in Atlanta, and... Um, I mean, it was 
it was so preposterous. But anyway, the attorney was Eugene Kaiser, who was a good attorney's former district, uh, Fulton County, Atlanta district attorney. But the end there, well, part of it, if, if I can keep this together to try to get it on, and here's uh, my prime minister up here, right here. David Cameron, that was my father's name, by the way. Uh, David is what they call my father. Uh, but Gonzalez um, had the suit uh, gag order. And I wanted to say this, the in there, my attorney, while I was doing the book, Gene Kaiser, gave me uh, a deposition. It was a murder that took place at Piedmont Hospital where Larry McDonald, he's mentioned in this, U.S. Congressman, uh, Larry Flint was shot using mind control. The person was programmed to shoot him. And I was later flown out when this doctor, the plane he was on, uh, was shot down August the 31st of 83. Now then, there's a lot of, there were some murders that happened that I was writing about and about Larry McDonald, Congressman Doctor. And that's when the antifreeze got in me, and there was a number of doctors and the Center for Disease Control, uh, Emory University. By the way, the professor of law and psychiatry there was Robicher, Jonas Robicher, one of the few decent men you'll find, and he got killed for it. They made it look like death by natural cause, and there's no way in hell that he was murdered. Um, he were, oh, his books were published by Lippincott, but I want to, and this one was different. It was published by another publisher, re, a less recognized publisher, and he was the one that turned Gene Strokerman, <clears throat> who was later shot in uh, um, Piedmont Hospital where Larry McDonald practiced medicine, in Dr. Hardiman's office on Christmas Eve, she was shot down up against the wall and by the Christmas tree. Now then, uh, Hardiman is very questionable, not questionable, he's a part in all this. So you see what I was up against. Uh, Gene's dad, born in Rosina Matthews, forensic pathologist there at the hospital with gun down, in uh, Cobb County, where I live, Marietta, and Flint was shot in uh, Lawrenceville uh, in 78 when I was doing the book. Now then, what I want to fa uh, fast forward to is Robichur, in his book, The Power of Psychiatry, that was the last one I believe he wrote. Somehow, I'd never met him, but he had my cases listed. He didn't give me credit, he just had them named, the cases some of my cases in the last chapter of his book. And I called his wife, Jan, later after I'd had the antifreeze put in me, and God knows the things that have been done to me and my kids. And I called her, and I called a relative, a guy, Sam, and he, he's the one who told me Dr. Robichur was dead and that Jan was at, had been given an honorary position at Emory. I called her, and right away the beep of the start, and she, like you're being recorded. I don't think they even do that today. But she, out of no malice, she was making me think. She said um, to me, she says, why should I help you? I'm living good here. I've been given an honorary position here at Emory uh, in, where her husband had um, worked and been killed, a beautiful man. And uh, in essence, this is, it was a prelude to what's happened to me and what had happened. People, as long as they're living good, will um, not help you if they are jeopardized. And this is the truth, and that's all I can say. I can't get this on. The thing that I wanted to get here is not just Gonzalez's uh, uh, part in being at uh, the hospital in Dallas because the Kennedys have kidnapped me. And nobody seems to care if JFK kidnaps and murders and uh, what all was done. But he was there interning. Now he fast forward to Huntsville. By the way, I worked at the health spa there, uh, Cosmopolitan managed the ladies' division. He brought his wife in, just had a baby from Honduras. They, she was from Honduras. He came in, and he he's a psychopath. So is Lana Dempsey, and so... Uh, was my husband. That's what, and I hope Dr. Reagan doesn't mind. The one decent doctor wrote a letter, and he said they were psychiatrists, and they were. They control you and torture you. They have no conscience. So there's Lana Dempsey killing the twins and what she did to me. 
But uh, I was trying to write the book, and I won't get this on here. And I, there's a lot more I want.